Bansko, Bulgaria, famous for world-class skiing, a tranquil atmosphere, and a vibrant digital nomad community. I'm going to show you what it's like working remote from Bansko. Is this a place? I don't know. There's no entrance. But Google Map shows it is. Let's give it a go. Out of all of the countries I've been and all of those co-works, Bulgaria has had the nicest ones. The standards of excellence is just up there. Monitors for free, free coffee, espresso machines, not just coffee makers, espresso machines. And surround lighting, like camera style lighting, nice chairs, good tables. People that have been making this know what you're looking for. No one's told me what any of this is like. I am here first thing in the morning, for only one person, that is rare. But no one's been able to spruce this place up, make it look nice. This is how it actually looks at its worst after it's been used. And it looks really nice. I mean, I can't get over this view. All right, I will see you in a week. And after that, I'll show you alt space as well as co-working Bansko. Then at the end, I'll tell you how much they each cost and my final thoughts. See you then. So this is what it's like to start out every morning as a digital nomad. You get to see amazing views like this. And you end up waking earlier than the rest of the city because you probably work on a time difference. But it's worth it. What you're seeing here behind me and in this b-roll now is alt space co-working this is super early in the morning like no one else is here uh i don't even think the cleaning crew has been here so what you're seeing is as bad as it gets it's not the pretty side it's not the glamorized side it's the reality Just grabbed lunch, this beautiful pizza, and switched over to the other co-working space, that alt space has, co-working space, alt space. The cool thing about these, and I just talked to the owners of the last one, is that these are free. That is just so much screen real estate. I, as someone that's been working on this, literally the size of my hand, That is insane. Well, I have a talent for arriving at co-works before the cleaning crew gets here. Upon arriving here, which is my first impression of it, I enjoy it. The large desks, which I don't hit my knees on, unlike the original office, and the 
ample amount of space, the high ceilings, the natural lighting. It was bought and designed knowing how many people were here and what they needed. It is closest to the mountain. So during winter time, it's gonna be the most busy. Ah, uh, drone shot. So cinematic. Uh. The main office is the original office. It was very busy, so left the recording out. But I did show up yesterday and took some B-roll, so you can see it here. It is a small office, especially compared to this. Having that transition from working mainly solo to a room full of people was energizing, but also stressful. Not in a bad way, but in a way that makes you adapt to your surroundings. Being able to talk with people on a very casual basis was nice. Having others working just as diligently as I was is always good to see. Commuting here in Bensko has been super nice. The weather has been warming up and what was previously all snow has now turned this nice open field. And with that, the town actually begins to move south. That's where we're heading now. This is the best co-working I've ever been at. Granted, it is also the most expensive since it's in the Netherlands. If you want to see the video about this one, you have to like this video because the YouTube algorithm isn't going to understand that my content is made specifically for you. Co-working in Bansko on the other hand is very affordable at about 150 US dollars, give or take 20, depending on where you're going. Price point is not a deciding factor. No, the deciding factor is what was bad. I am joking, and I probably just gave a couple folks a heart attack. A month after I recorded those first impressions, I still stand by my statements that Bulgaria has some of the nicest co-works. What you should know is what the locals know, and that's three things. If you're looking for community, check out Coworking Bansko. It has the most events, the most members, and the most offices. If you're looking to get work done, check out Nestwork. It has the most amount of workspace, the sleekest design, and the best view. Then if you're looking for something in between, check out Altspace. It's kind of funny how their names correlate with what they're specialized for. In this video, I've made a cost of living breakdown because it's the next thing you need to know about. 